Hello dentist, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to uh, talk about a new topic uh, which is uh, the different methods of uh, uh, removal of a broken instrument or file from a root canal. Before uh, we start our uh, topic today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Let's start now. A dentist in a general practice while carrying out a root canal therapy on a lower molar he fractures a file in the canal so what's he going to do and how he would explain the problem to the patient let's start now he has to explain to the patient that, the f that this fine instrument has broken in the canal and that uh, you will have to try to remove it so if you see the broken file try to grasp it with a pair of mos fine mosquito forceps if you are unable to remove the, then continue with the following regime. Then we take an x-ray to determine the position of the broken instrument or the file. So let's see here. So this is the first, can you see this is the mosquito? This is the mosquito forceps, which is used for, if you can see the file in the clearly in the canal, you can remove it with this mosquito forceps, okay? If you can't see it, we're going to tell the patient to make a radiograph. So can you see now here in this case the file is in the middle third, okay? Uh, try uh, to remove the broken file by passing a file alongside. So we bring another file here next to this file and try to pull this file upwards, okay? And it might come up. Uh, if this case, in this case, if it fails, let's see what are we going to do. Consider trying a Massi, uh, a Massi Ran kit, but it is 55% successful. This is a Masiran, Masiran, Masirian kit, okay? So if it's not successful, explain to the patient that it's not possible to remove the broken instrument and that uh, you will arrange for a referral to a special specialist who will aim to remove the file or complete the root canal treatment. The specialist may attempt to dislodge or remove the broken file with an ultrasonic instrumentation. So let's see here. Let me see here. Ultrasonic file removal. Can you see? They are of different sizes. It may be possible for the specialist to create enough space uh, to bypass the fragment uh, by uh, gently working uh, a small file alongside the fractured instrument using e data to soften the dentine. So this uh, ultrasonic can be used to remove the uh, the uh, the uh, tooth structure around the file in order to be able to pull it out okay so here we say here um, it may be possible for the specialist to create enough space to uh, bypass the fragment which is the the, the file uh, the broken file by gently working a small file alongside the fractured instrument using e data to soften the dentine if it's not possible to bypass the instrument, then the specialist may clean and fill the root canal to the level of the blockage. Okay, explain that uh, the tooth will need to be, can you see here, this is an ultrasonic scaler, okay, here they remove uh, the uh, tooth structure from, buc from lingually and buccally and try to make spaces, okay, around it in order to be able to pull it out. Uh, explain that uh, the tooth will need to be kept under observation as it may be necessary to carry out an episectomy at the later stage. Ask the patient if they have any questions and then arrange a follow-up appointment to see them. Record carefully the events and expl or explanation in the clinical notes. A early referral to a specialist may be indicated depending on the practitioner experience. So it depends on the dentist uh, experience uh, if he can get it easily. Uh, let's uh, uh, 
explain of the ultrasonic scalar how does it uh, work uh, briefly the ultrasonic is used uh, used to remove the broken thyme okay the canal is enlarged coronally uh, to help the access of ultrasonic tip uh, the ability to see the instrument uh, fragment so the ability to see the instrument fragment is required ultrasonic energy uh, removes the tooth structure and vibrates to make the fragment loose uh, then this will make a space around the tooth structure uh, around the uh, the instrument around the instrument and the choice there are different uh, ultrasonic tips uh, depending on the size of the canal we can use different uh, ultrasonic tips depending on the size of the canal so uh, another tip could be used so we can change the sizes okay according to the size of the canal another tip is used to remove and loosen the fragments fragment which is the broken instrument until all all the uh, all the uh, on, until the fragment becomes very loose and it can be pulled out of the uh, the canal I hope that you understood today's uh, lesson. Uh, this lesson normally happens in um, clinic, and it's uh, uh, it's I in myself I, it's not that very common uh, because uh, it needs really careful root canal normally needs careful um, working while you are very sensitive. It's a very sensitive uh, procedure. So you have to be very careful while using these very delicate instruments like the files. It, you don't have to use a lot of uh, pressure okay, while working. I hope uh, that you enjoyed today's lesson and it was uh, of benefit to a lot of dentists. And subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Bye for now.